Thailand is in mourning following the announcement on October 13, 2016 by the Bureau of the Royal Household that His Majesty King Bhumipol Adulyadet passed away at 3.52 p.m. at the age of 89. In a televised announcement at about 7 p.m. that evening, Thailand's Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha said the country now enters a one-year period of mourning over the loss of their beloved king, Rama IX, and urged all sectors in society to refrain from holding entertainment activities for one month. The PM's office announced that government agencies nationwide were ordered to fly half-mast for 30 days following His Majesty the King's death and that government officials will wear black in mourning for a year. Private firms are free to use their own judgment, the statement added. One of the world's longest reigning monarchs, Rama IX, was deeply revered by his subjects for his tireless work, travelling the length and breadth of the country to meet locals and personally oversee agricultural and infrastructure projects while promoting a self-sufficiency economy. The nationwide outpouring of grief has seen hundreds of thousands of people lining the streets of Bangkok on Friday the 14th to kneel and why as a cavalcade made its way to the Grand Palace where funeral rites will be performed for 100 days. Mourners are pouring into the capital from all over Thailand to pay homage to a much-loved king. Members of the public will be allowed to pay their respects to His Majesty the King in front of his royal urn inside the Grand Palace's Dusit Maha Prasad Throne Hall after 15 days of daily royal prayers, the Royal Household Bureau announced on Saturday. Funeral rites are planned for 100 days. Meanwhile, the rest of the palace and the Emerald Buddha Temple will remain closed until October the 20th. Government spokesman Sansur Gail Gumnerd said on Saturday that during the morning period entertainment venues will be permitted to open as normal. However, they should operate indoors and not too loudly. Restaurants and cinemas can also operate as usual. Organisers of concerts and entertainment events would initially have to ask for permission to stage their productions during the 30-day period. The Tourism Authority of Thailand has confirmed that some events such as concerts, musicals and festivals have been postponed. In Phuket, the music was turned off and the lights went out early at pubs and clubs across the island on the evening of October the 13th, after news broke just before 7pm of the King's passing. Entertainment venues along Bangla Road and other tourist hotspots closed down for the weekend while provincial officials began preparing for the public to join the nation in mourning. At Phuket Provincial Hall, thousands of Phuketians in sombre attire have queued quietly to perform bathing rites at a portrait of King Bhumipon, as well as signing a book of remembrance. A nationwide 30-day ban on gambling came into effect on Friday, according to a statement signed by the Minister of Interior, Krisada Bunrat, to governors across the country. Exhibitions regarding the King's royal duties will also be held. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Commerce is keeping an eye on the prices of black clothes to prevent overcharging. The heir to the throne, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Mahavajiralongkorn, will succeed His Majesty the King. <laughs>